This is how I'll be with Danny G. Come on and hang with me and see what you can see. Here's the experiment today. We've revamped things. We have used several press fittings that we are going to test without the O-rings and also one push to connect fitting without the O-ring. So let's go ahead and build this thing. So keep in mind, this is not the way that you're supposed to do this without the O-rings. This is only to uh, do some testing. That's it, period. It's not to make you decide which system you want to go with or not. Oh, wow. That kind of looks like a G. That'd be good for Danny G. Okay, so today we're going to go ahead and do a new demonstration. Now, this demonstration is to basically only prove that there is a difference in the way that these two types of fittings get their seal. One fitting, being a push to connect fitting, um, that, that O-ring that's in there is the primary and only seal. Now, while there may be teeth that hold it onto the pipe, if you don't have that O-ring in there, it's going to leak or we're going to see if that's the case. The other fitting is a press fitting. Now, so many people say that a press fitting is the same as the push connect fit, push to connect fitting. However, the press fitting manufacturers say that the O-ring is the secondary seal. Now, a lot of people have heard this, they're not sure if that's the truth, if it's not. Well, well we're gonna find out. So, and all of these uh, fittings, we have removed every seal. So we have water in and we will be charging all the way up to the valve. First we will be testing all of the press fittings to make sure that without any o-rings in these see whether or not they hold water or they leak. Once we've determined that we will open the ball valve and we will be able to find out if the push to connect fitting which is all the way on if it will in fact leak. So that's today's test. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we have water charged to this point. Let's go ahead and turn on the water and see what happens with the press fittings. Well, the brass one is leaking. The brass one is leaking. All of the copper, all of the copper is not leaking. Uh, make sure this one's not leaking. I think it's just this brass one right here. So the brass press fittings and this manufacturer is a different manufacturer from the valve, but the valve brass press fitting is leaking, and the brass press fitting on the male adapter is leaking. All of the copper press fittings are all good. That's something that we thought may happen, but was not sure if that would happen. Now let's go ahead because we can see that we have water pressure on here. We know we have water on there live, okay? And the only things that we have leaking is the two brass press fittings. Now then, let's go ahead and open this valve to see what will, will, what will happen here with the push to connect fitting. So, push to connect definitely is the worst of them showing you definitely that it has to have the, the O-ring to make any type of a seal at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what kind of pressure is on there. We got our gauge on. Uh, gauge is showing about 45 PSI. We're going to go ahead and hook up the uh, Milwaukee uh, transfer pump and go ahead and see if we can use that as some sort of a booster to see if we can get the pressure to go up. No, it is not. 
not moving at all. We got the airline hooked up and um, we'll see if we can go ahead and increase the pressure. We're leaking air right here at the brass uh, press um, ball valve there. So let's go ahead and, and open this up and see what happens here when we increase the pressure. As you can see on the gauge we have about 120 psi of air. We have no water on there anymore. It's all 20, 120 psi of air. The leaks that we have for sure are, are around the brass uh, press fittings. All right, so this one's not as bad. Let's see if we're leaking here by this one. Kind of hard to tell. Let me get the, let me get the light here. Yes, so you can see the bubbles on the, look on the back side back here. See those bubbles? I don't know if you can see them or not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, on the bottom over here. Yep. See air bubbles coming out? Yep. Soap bubbles. I don't think there's very much soap in this in this solution here. So we got a leak there, and then you can see it over here now, Nick. Look. Obviously, without an O-ring is not the recommended installation for any of these, for either of these, the, the press fittings or the push to connect. Neither are designed by the manufacturer uh, to put on there without the O-rings. So I did not prove anything that, hey guys, you guys can go ahead and press these things without O-rings. But we did see the, the fact that the copper ones will in fact, and they may not last forever, but they will in fact press and hold a seal. So the primary seal is supposed to be the press. Now, the brass, however, as it's leaking, the primary press on the, on the brass, apparently, by two different manufacturers, is not, is not holding doesn't leak as bad as the push to connect but still does leak so you you definitely need the o-ring in there on the brass um, press fittings That's how it be with Danny G.